with another fantastic Friday story. I wonder how you're all doing at home. Well, we're just going to come into some nice hot weather now and we like to sit outside. But what we really like to do is we like to sit outside when it's dark and it's a clear night. And then we can see into the sky and look at all the stars. We have loved looking at stars in our house and we really enjoy spotting all the space stations and all the important stars. So I thought that we might investigate a story about space. And we'll have a look and see what's in our box, shall we? Can you remember the rhyme? The rhyme goes like this, doesn't it? Magic box, magic box, look and see look and see is there a story hiding in the box for me shall we have a look in the box i'm taking the lid off right now i'll put the lid over there oh we've got some interesting things in here let's have a look here we go are you ready here he comes Ooh, it's a alien. Let's put him there, shall we? Got another one here. Here he comes. Ooh, hey, it's another alien. And ooh, what we got here now? We've got a flying saucer. There we go. We've been watching the news recently and they've recently sent up a rocket into outer space to, to meet up with a space station up there and some astronauts have gone up and they're working in space at the sky station now. So we've got a spaceman's outfit here. We haven't got a helmet because it's, it's a bit big as a helmet. So. I wonder if you could draw some stars. Have a go at drawing some stars. Or maybe you could make a really cool alien. Now, I've got a story now. This is called The Man on the Moon, A Day in the Life of Bob. And this man's very interesting. <coughs> Because he goes up to the moon every day because that's his job. And do you know what? He doesn't believe in aliens. I wonder if when I'm reading this story, you can have a look at the pages and see if you can see any aliens. Because Bob, he doesn't believe in aliens because he's never seen any on the moon when he's been working. So shall we start the story? Put my glasses on. Here we go. Man on the moon. Day in the life of Bob. Here he is. Getting his work clothes on. This, this is Bob. Perhaps you've heard people talking of him. You know him better as the man on the moon. There he is on the moon. Can you see any aliens yet? I wonder if there's anything over here. This is where Bob lives. Every morning he rises at six o'clock, has a cup of tea, two eggs for breakfast before leaving for the rocket launch pad on the way, he stops to buy a newspaper and some chocolate toffees. He's on his way to work. On the moon. By eight o'clock, Bob arrives at the launch pad changes into his special man on the moon rocket suit and boards his fantastic rocket ship. He must make sure he leaves by quarter to nine 
Otherwise, he wouldn't make it to the moon by nine o'clock. Only takes 15 minutes. On the way, he reads the newspaper and he does the crossword. Just like everybody on the tube in London. Bob starts work. His job as man on the moon is very important. He has to keep the moon clean and tidy. Quite often, astronauts drop sweet packets and cans. Some people say that aliens are responsible for much of the rubbish, but Bob knows that that's not true because there's no such thing as aliens. Have a look, can you see any? Okay, what's this here? Oh, look at that! Lots of aliens hiding in the moon, hiding from Bob. By 12.30, it's time to eat. Bob goes to his rocket ship to fetch his lunch. This usually contains two sandwiches, either cheese or peanut butter and apple. And sometimes chocolate covered nuts. Sometimes he meets his friends for a picnic as his two best friends are Billy, the man on Mars, and Sam, the man on Saturn. They talk about stars and they tell jokes. After lunch, the tourist spaceships start arriving from Earth. It's part of John's Bob, uh, part of Bob's job to entertain them and to give them something to photograph. So he does somersaults and handstands and especially unusual, especially high moon jumps. Sometimes he performs for as long as two hours and is left quite out of puff. Can you see any aliens? Bob doesn't believe in aliens. Occasionally, the tourist spaceships will land on the moon. When they do, Bob gives them a guided tour and a speech. He tells them lots of facts, such as how many craters are on the moon, or how many long it takes to walk around it on stilts. Sometimes people ask him about aliens and Bob explains patiently that there aren't any aliens. Afterwards, Bob opens a small souvenir stand selling postcards, pencils, mugs and small plastic moon models. Can you see any aliens yet? By 4.30, all visitors must leave the moon. So Bob looks around to see that everybody has left. He checks inside any big craters in case anybody has fallen in, but there's never anybody there. The working day is nearly over and it's time for him to check everything is order before leaving for the night. Bob packs away his equipment and any unsold souvenirs into his rocket. He switches the moon's night light before jetting off towards the earth. By this time he's very tired but he still has to keep his wits about him while flying the rocket. There we go. Can you see any aliens? Bob doesn't believe in aliens. As he reaches the earth, it's about five o'clock. The rush hour is in full swing with everybody, leaving work and going home just like Bob. All on the buses. At home, Bob is just like anyone else. First, he has a long bath. Moon work can make you very grubby as sometimes the dust can get inside your suit. Then he goes to bed with a mug of cocoa. He sleeps soundly, bathed in moonbeams. Very happy to be the man on the moon. And aliens... Well... 
Bob would know if there were any. Wouldn't he? That's the story of Bob going off up into space for his job. What an exciting job to be a, an astronaut. You have to do lots of training and lots of running when you're doing that kind of job. And also you have to be able to float very well in space. Right, I wonder if we've got some songs that, that we can sing about space. Well, we have actually. We're going to finish off with Three Little Men in a Flying Saucer and then the last song will be Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So have you got your three little men? One, two, three. Three little men in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. They looked left and right but they didn't like the sight so one man flew away. Whoosh! Two little men in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. They looked left and right but they didn't like the sight so one man flew away. Whoosh! One little man in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. He looked left and right but he didn't like the sight so one man flew away. Whoosh! And we'll finish off with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Have you got your stars? Are you ready? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star how I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Very good. That's the end of our story time today. Just a little quick shout out for two or three children that we've got who are listening this morning. I want us to say hi to Rudy. Hello Rudy, how are you? And hello to Clara. Hello Clara, hope you're enjoying your days. And Amelia, remembered you Amelia? I wonder what you're dressed up as today? Will it be Chase? Will it be Spider-Man? What will it be? You like Spider-Man, don't you? So hello to you, Amelia, and your mummy. Hope you're keeping well, and we'll see you soon. For now, it's goodbye. <laughs>